Pirates. We've got three Frenchmen on this flight. Duplessis, De La Trec, and Corbet. Well, nothing like a little continental atmosphere. Did you say Corbet? Yeah. Etienne Corbet, the French diplomatic courier? No, that's right. Why? Oh, boy, old Chops has lost himself a cash customer. Take a look at this. Etienne Corbet, top French diplomat, murdered by thugs. Briefcase found rifle beside lifeless body. Yeah, it's a great big, wonderful world. Well, I hate to see you callous, chum, but I'm hungry. How long will it take off? Oh, about an hour. Well, let's go over to the tea house and you can meditate while I stuff my face. Okay. Cargo's all aboard. Everything from aspirin to parts for broken sousaphone. We're even carrying a chick. One chick? Yeah, the kind you go for. You mean a real live female? One of the opposite sex, remember? Oh, I hope I never forget. Wonder what she looks like. How do I know? Maybe she looks like Chopstick Joe's grandmother. Oh, don't kid me. Never had one. Oh, well, if she qualifies for the opposite sex, why, we can hope for the best. I sure like your strict requirements in women. They must be women. Just the same, the passenger, the one specified as female. I wonder what she does look like. So anyhow, we're eating in this ritzy joint, and I say to this doll, baby, I'm sure going to remember this night. And the waiter says, yeah, you sure are. The waiter? Yeah, and then he hands me the check. Oh, beautiful sunrise at 7 o'clock. Finders keepers. I hereby file claim 970614. We've got less than an hour, chum. Wasn't it Rasputin who said there's so many of them in so little time? You want to see a dynamo operate? She's not your type, Chaz. She looks pretty intelligent. Bet you a rich, all right, I date her. I'll take that bet. Don't think me nervy, but every time I see a girl from home, it's just like a magnet. So, you are from Vitry-sur-Marne, too? Huh? That is a little town in France where I live. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's not a coincidence. I, I've always wanted to meet a girl from... Uh, 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 Vitry-sur-Marne. Yeah, that's, that's the place. Um, <laughs> such being the case, uh, you don't mind if I sit down? No. You know, I could have sworn you were an American. Of course, uh, French girls can help a guy from being lonesome, too. They have that reputation. You are a pilot. Oh, yeah, the best. Air Cafe, Hong Kong to Tansan. Now, I want to get that uh, biographical data, you know, your name and address and so forth. You are uh, going to Tanzan? Uh-huh. Now, about the information from my little black book. My name is Arlette de Lautrec. Arlette, uh, yeah. Well, uh, the name I want you to imprint indelibly on your memory is that of Hotshot C. Charles. Hotshot Charles C. Charles. Yeah. Next time, it'll be champagne. How dare you? How dare you sit at my table? Leave at once or I will call the police. Well, no, 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 wait a minute, babe. Take it you, easy. You, you American masher. 
Go away, leave me alone. One minute I'm a dreamboat, the next I'm arsenic. Go. Oh, I shall call the police. All right. And that, my gallant cloud jockey, was the quickest and most complete brush off I've ever witnessed. Something happened. She was, she was for me all the time. All of a sudden, she starts blasting me. Now look, Casanova, you've taken so much time with that romance over there, we're late back at the airport. Let's shove off. I did not wish to embarrass you while you are entertaining, Mademoiselle de la Trecque. These impudent Americans. Like a rooster, he's trotted to my table. He did not stay long, I can assure you. You seem particularly gifted in disposing of men, are you not, Mademoiselle? Monsieur, I have a plane to catch. Let us be done with this subtlety, huh? Very well. Etienne Corbet has been murdered. I read the papers, Monsieur. I thought you would be most stressed. Your friendship with him developed so completely and so quickly. Poor Corbet. He was robbed. Yes. Some very valuable documents were taken from his briefcase. I want those documents returned. I see. And uh, I am supposed to make this possible? I sincerely hope so. And uh, what is the first step to this uh, interesting procedure? You will, of course, submit to a search. You think I have these, uh, these documents? Well, let us say, maybe you have them. You do not object to an examination? Of course I object. But that will not stop you. So, carry out your foolish search. Good. Madame. Search her. And also this, Madame. carries no such papers on her person. Thank you, madame. I shall not forget the humiliation to which I have been subjected, monsieur. I am desolate, mademoiselle. Time to start the warm-up. What do you suppose is wrong with the girl? She's all for me and then bam. Why worry? <laughs> No one loud up front. Pardon, monsieur. Hey, that's the babe I met at the tea house. As Major Domo, official host, hand holder, and baby dryer for Air Cafe, I welcome you, mademoiselle. I'm so glad you came to talk to me. Please do sit down. When I saw it was you, I wanted to apologize for my rudeness in the cafe. I seem to have annoyed the other pilot. Oh, he, he's just learning to fly, a little nervous. Besides which, he's a confirmed woman hater. My women, that is. You forgive me, then? There appeared someone in the cafe who is insanely jealous about me. I thought in order to avoid trouble, I would make you leave. The main thing is, you were beginning to care. I'm cold. The altitude, I guess. Well, there are various ways of remedying that situation. Perhaps, if I could use your trench coat, I would be most grateful. This way, mademoiselle. You're so 
Coming in, Chaz. Roger. Flight lead where Cathay. Flight lead where Cathay. Manson Airport. Aging 1X numbers, King. You there, Chops? Air Cathay to Flight Lee. Air Cathay to Flight Lee. Look, Flyboy. Make with a little dignity. You want people to think I'm a bum? Over. Making our leg approach now, illustrious one. Magnificent employer. Three minutes out. Over. You got a lady on board, Miss De La Trek? Over. Lady? This one's a doll. With more assets than you've got liabilities, Chops. And I've got her tagged for me. Send out a proclamation. OK. Flight clear, field clear. Visibility unlimited. Over and out. One, three, nine. Give me the dragon lady, quick. Mr. Delotrek will arrive shortly with your passport. One of my people bungled, Mr. Laverne. Mr. Corbet's passport was not to cost him his life. I regret this unnecessary killing. Expediency sometimes calls for these things, Dragon Lady. I can see that your worries cease the moment the passport is in your hands. Is that not so? To get the passport forged and Kobe's photograph altered as to resemble me are the worries which remain, my dear Dragon Lady. Not to mention a one million dollars worth of cut diamonds which you mean to take with you into the United States. More tea? No, thank you. It would appear that I am being poorly paid for such a risky transaction. The Dragon Lady should lose a great deal of face should she back down on her word. But should you agree to a more suitable payment, I could lose nothing. Your job was to get me a diplomatic passport for a stipulated sum. As to why I needed it, that was immaterial. At the time, perhaps, but a million dollars worth of diamonds. Because I confided in you in a foolish moment. Foolish moments must be paid for, Mr. Laverne. Because there is no baggage search with a diplomatic passport, it would seem that you are nearly helpless without one. I feel certain we can come to a more agreeable arrangement. Greetings, Flyboy. Have a nice trip? Oh, till now, terrific. Uh, Carl is waiting around the back, Mr. Trollock. De Lautrec. Oh, so sorry. If names do not have a Wong or a Chang, I get all balled up. Anyway, Carl is waiting around back. Hey, what about that date I was building for? My hotel. Later. Meet me at my hotel, the pretty girl said as she laughed daintily up her sleeve. Now, look, we have a bet. If I don't date the fair Memzel, I lose. And you pay. Come on, lover boy. We better check in. Mr. Laverne, Topstick Joe. Oh, lucky Laverne. I've heard about you plenty. Never thought I'd make it cheek to cheek, though. You're a wheel, Mr. Laverne, what I mean a wheel. If you will release my hand, perhaps I will roll across the floor for you. 
He's a kick. Talks like he's been to finishing school. Have done with the civilities, gentlemen. Uh, let's the passport. Well? Uh, look, Dale, the kid's a little fouled up. Uh, nothing serious. I'll take care of it in the sweet AM. Hold your tongue, chopstick. Well, Arlette? I was being followed, and uh, I found it necessary to conceal it. Where? Unless he's found it, the passport is now in the trench coat of a certain pilot by the name of Monsieur Hotshot. Shoot. Get something to time out with, Chaz. What do I get? Anything. Get a blanket. Get me hurt. Who is he? How'd he get in here? I know he's pretty big. Hold him down there, all right? Come on. That's it. Go on and get away. All right, chums. Settle down and enjoy our company. What's about to get, chum? No. No, not with that knife, Terry. Here, take the shoot knife. He'll never make a sound. No knife, it's me, Chumps, Come on, Terry, shut him up. Here, just slash his throat once. That'll quiet him down. Yeah. It's me, Chopstick Joe. <laughs> Help me up. What did you come in for? Come on, one thing at a time, Chop. What did you come here for? All right, I'll talk. What you're looking for, Joe? It's what I am looking for, Monsieur Le Capitaine. Remain as you are, please. Well, you gentlemen hardly seem entire for a promenade and a boulevard. However, I do not wish to be followed. You know the cards, please. No, they don't. Someday I trust we shall meet again. And when we do, voila, look out. Stateside wrestlers don't take the club rig I'm taking tonight. <sighs> Looks like our visitor's getting a massage, Oriental style. We buy into it? What for? We wouldn't know which side to take. I'd rather ask Chopstick some questions first. Hey. Look. Looks like the Mademoiselle has other interests besides Charles C. Charles. A very violent interest, it would appear. Let us go press the Honorable Chopstick for enlightenment. The mademoiselle would say, and there's a lawns. Let's go. Let's 
Excuse me, Chops. All right, try the truth, Chops. The man in the dark suit and the blue automatic followed you here from somewhere. Was it the dragon lady's house? Uh, excuse me, Chops. So it was the dragon lady. What's wrong with that? She was one of my best customers. That passport you were so anxious to get back. Whose was it? I know nothing about a passport. Oh, I can see we have our work cut out for us, chum. Why don't you ask that dealer track dame? She's the one that planted it on you. It was hot, Chops. But why was it hot? Because it belonged to Etienne Corbet, the diplomat who got knocked off in Hong Kong. They killed Corbet to get his passport, and you're mixed up with something like that? Oh, I have nothing to do with mayhem. On the level. With deepest regard for your integrity, Chops, you're a cockeyed liar. Oh, I take an oath. The dragon lady slipped me a few pieces of eight to bring the girl here and fly the other guy out. That's all. Fly what guy out? Start the prologue and keep going. Okay, you win. Have you ever heard of Lucky Laverne? Heard, read, and smelt. Stars and Stripes, number one bad boy. He's here in San San. He's here. It was like this. You ought to be commended, mademoiselle, for your quick thinking. It seemed that the only thing to do was to put it in the pilot's coat. If you had not done that, this canai would have wrecked my whole plan. You are certain your Hong Kong expert can alter the passport by midday tomorrow? Easily. You have one of your hoodlums planes ready to fly me to Hong Kong? It is so arranged. He should be here momentarily. As a matter of curiosity, Mr. Laverne, how do you propose to carry the diamonds with you into your country? A million dollars worth of diamonds takes up a surprisingly small amount of space. Not nearly so much as this. Put your gun away, Mr. Laverne. I've guaranteed you safe conduct to Hong Kong. Till then, at least, your diamonds are safe. You didn't rise, folks. All right, Sean. Thank you. Pawn shop friend of mine saves these things. Even gives me a couple of bucks for them. Terry, behind you! Chop, that gives you one silver star. Nothing like a good education. I learned that one in Chicago, USA. Just to make things easier for the Empire, whose team are you on? I am Pierre Duplessis of the French Sarté. I was the unfortunate uh, Monsieur Cobet's escort. Oh, well, in that case... How did you get in here? Good old chops. They've seen him around here so much, they thought it was a partner, junior grade. We walked right in. In America, this hooldom would have signed his death warrant for something like this. That's exactly why I'm here, Lucky. Did I say Lucky? Well, that does it. My government will be most appreciative. You can save the ribbons for later. Right now, I think a little explanation's in order. Yeah. I was assigned to guard Monsieur Corbet. Alas, there's little protection one can offer against a treacherous woman. You have jurisdiction over these characters? I am taking jurisdiction. The lady of the house is gone. Oh, my good friend, the dragon lady's taken off her parts unknown. Two bits, she's there already. Hey, speaking of bets... All right. All right. Mamselle, my chum and I are given to making weird wagers. You happen to be involved in one of them. Indeed. Uh, all you've got to do is say yay or nay. Will the lady hear the question? I listen. Uh, had the circumstances been different, would you have dated me? I have never dated an impudent little American before. <laughs> and I certainly had no intention of starting now. <laughs> she don't need it. But how can I ever prove it? Faster, boy, faster! Come on, boy, a little more speed. Ah, oh, shut up! Quiet. Chops is composing a literary masterpiece. Joy can... What did he say, Terry? Can you understand his dialect? He said, see you again. Ho Fung Yao. When illustrious friends... Teng Hap. Gather for... Teng Ku Jai. 
further exciting adventures of further exciting adventures of Terry and the Pirates. Be with us again the next time we take off with Terry and the Pirates and another exciting high altitude adventure.